hey guys welcome back and this is supriya baru i hope all of you are doing good today we are back with an interesting topic to discuss and if you are already a qa engineer i bet you definitely must have heard about load testing if not uh, no worries i will just go in detail of what it all means and uh, just so not to miss any point i have listed uh, the key points that i'm going to talk about today here uh, the first thing is the goal of load testing and uh, why do we actually perform it and the third one which is a challenge uh, how to identify or come up with different load test scenarios and then uh, the keys that we need to remember before performing a load test here and then the fifth one is again interesting very interesting thing whether to actually perform it is it an optional or a mandatory before we sign off so with whatever i have experienced i am just listing out these uh, topics to discuss today and uh, let's see how it goes so first let's understand the goal of load testing the basic need or the goal is to identify the bottlenecks of the application so we do identify different bottlenecks of our application and that can actually bring down our server under a very high user load so we identify some critical you know scenarios and try to increase the load and see how the server is responding with different types of loads okay to those business critical scenarios or whatever scenarios that we identify okay based on the application and uh, that's uh, that's the basic goal of the testing now why do we have to perform it let's take an example to discuss this further the second point right so i have a web application here this is the second one i'm talking about the second point are you are a qa engineer who is working on testing a web application okay there might be like two or three qas involved to test this application and all you four are testing it and uh, once you functionally test it and uh, you are confident that it is working as expected or it's responding as expected you would provide your sign off right so that's it once the, you sign off the same pro project or the application will be rolled out to production so this is the production application web application the same one that we have tested and in this case in production the real time users who are using this application might be around 1000 users okay now the test server that you have here that you have tested right the way it is responding to four of you four of uh, the qas who are testing might not be the same as how it is responding here the production server for how many users thousand users now you can ask me one question whether the infrastructure ha is similar to the production environment or not so we always may have to ensure that the test and the prod have to be in sync there must not be any infrastructure differences so in this case let us assume that the infrastructure of the test application that you tested in your test environment versus the production is exactly same so in this case in the second uh, case of production when 1000 users are accessing the same application that you have tested the performance might be down okay then what what is there what could be the reason the main reason is that the server response of for four users might definitely be different um, as how it is responding to 1000 users here now uh, we signed off and we are good right so how how can we sign off without doing the production uh, load testing or or production like you know scenarios load testing is what is the thing that we are going to discuss today now in the same example if you see i would definitely think that you know we have to perform load testing before signing off so if 1000 users are using your application it is a critical application it is a application which is very widely used right 1000 users is not a small set here and um, in case of scenarios like this what are we going to do i think the third point here is how to identify load testing scenarios now if we go more there might be two types of applications right how to identify load is like whether it is 1000 10000 or 5000 how do we know right that that we can come to that conclusion after multiple discussions with our business team okay there might be two types of applications right so determining users 
that happens like you know it can be a new application or it might be an old application that you are testing so in case of new application it's pretty straightforward like you don't have any real time users already using it's coming uh, it's rolling out as a new application altogether right so in those cases right you just come get to comparable uh, numbers so if you as is a search engine right there might be comparable numbers out or there already with similar search engines who are accessing different like you know what is the uh, request that uh, the other applications are getting and based on looking at those comparable applications or similar applications you can come to that count okay in case of old it's pretty straightforward if it's already in production and uh, there is a major change that's happening you can take those counts from the business you can ask for counts exact number of users you can either triple melt or you can double it you know you can add it make it five times and then do the load test these are the two different ways of determining the users before to perform the load testing now the scenarios might be different so for that right let's um, understand this in the form of uh, uh, table here i call it one uh, this is these are the scenarios and these are the users let's say there is an application which has users and the users would be sending requests to the server and then there are these the last column is the total number of requests so scenario 1 there might be for example 100 users sending 220 requests to the server and uh, the total number of requests here are 2000 right the second scenario imagine there are only 50 users who would be using your application and each user is sending around 40 requests in this case we again have 2000 total number of requests the third scenario let's say for example there are only 20 users but they are using your application very widely and they are sending 100 requests so each user is sending 100 requests and in the third scenario again we ended up getting 200 requests per whatever like you know the, the duration i'm not talking about it right now but these are this is the total number of requests that we are getting the fourth scenario which is little uh, you know not that realistic but let's say only one user who is actively using our application and uh, he in this case also we have 2000 requests now in each of these scenarios right which scenario would you land or which scenario would you stick to perform load testing is the main challenge here now before starting load testing what i would advise is definitely you need to go and check with your business what is the most realistic scenario to simulate load testing the best persons or the best uh, you know go to person is your business because they are they are they know how many real time users uh, you know the application would be used by right so for example in your case if you get around 100 are the real time users in the application you would make it 500 load and you know test it and if it is all good we are good right so that's how we determine the load factors there are again, i i know again in each project or depending upon your company's guidelines right the way you identify the load scenario might be different but definitely it is worth talking to your team leads and also the business and finalize on one of the load scenario publish it to the team before getting started and tell, get it reviewed so that there won't be any surprises later because load is something where we need input from definitely from different teams you know it's it's not like only i test it so just i'm telling you i'm just throwing it out there maybe you have an application which is being used by 100 users right you might be knowing some other qa who is performing a load test whose is an external application customer facing application yours might be an internal application so the external facing application he might be testing for 1000 to 10000 users right you cannot replicate the same load here for your internal application it it doesn't make sense right so that that's the reason the load simulation is something which we need to discuss more get it reviewed finalized and then add it to your load test scenario so this this might need little more uh, you know meetings or little more time but you it always keeps us at a safer place and you know you can be answerable to yourself whether what you have done or how you came up with the load is the correct is that the correct number or not 
so just spend some time in determining this that's okay before performing your actual load test so we covered i think a point number three here and then comes the keys to keep in mind before starting your load test now based on whatever we have discussed right uh, there are two keys that are very important first thing you need to know is uh, the number of users as such right and then the second one is based on the scenario the different sets of scenarios you should also understand how many concurrent users would be accessing your application at a time so whatever tool you choose i think there are many open source tools for load testing like load runner j meter or whatever right so be it whatever you will always have an ability to add ramp up times there so just understand your situation or your scenario thoroughly and set these ramp up times correctly so that you can uh, you know get the most realistic production like scenario in the lower environment and test it out so these are the very two important keys that you need to understand or know before getting started with your load tests and what is the last one here optional or mandatory so again that's uh, that's uh, uh, key here so whether to perform it or not so i'll i'll be honest with you guys here uh, there are some applications which i tested which are used by very minimal set of users guys so at that time we didn't i didn't knew know the importance of load testing and i never performed it and uh, eventually when i started talking or interacting with other teams and uh, when i understood the concept of it right I started implementing it again it was an optional for me okay it was very small application in the past that I have verified where I actually started the uh, load testing but when I started using that I, I realized what did why did I miss it all, all the time because it gives you very very good confidence while providing sign off so I would say like you see one thing is if you have to sign off it if, if it is a mandatory thing I'm sure everybody would be in some kind of pressure that we need to complete it, right? If it is an optional, let us take an advantage of that and, uh, you know, understand more about it and be confident. That's what I would say. If it is an external application, if your application is kind of a Google or something, right? You don't have an option. You have to perform load testing before signing off because, you know, we can't get the server down <laughs> once it goes live, right? So this is this is definitely a mandatory one in case of bigger applications. But I would definitely say even in case of smaller applications, just give a try on any of these open source tools and give it so when you are trying it right it gives you lots of questions which uh, in which you did not come across when you are um, doing your functional testing i am 100 percent sure that we would get more deeper knowledge when we actually think about doing load testing because while doing functional testing we just don't uh, go that deep uh, to understand the infrastructure of it or this is specific scenario and the load details and the user details right but if you add this layer extra to your sign off process this would definitely make your application better number one and make yourself confident too before we sign off so this is what uh, i wanted to discuss about uh, these are the five important uh, topics that we just went over just give a thought and try to uh, start it if you haven't already and if you're already doing it very well and good and if i did miss any of the points or key points i would definitely appreciate if you just put a comment so that you know all my uh, you know friends who are looking at this video can just uh, gain more info about this so i hope uh, you all like this session Let's talk to you all soon. Stay safe and healthy. Happy testing, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.